I'm going to make this video before I go to bed. I'm just very beat right now. It's been a long day, and this whole month has been very long. And uh, I'm going to talk about the band Anti-Flag and what I witnessed. Uh, it was probably 2002. Uh, there was a CD called Iron City Punk 3 that just came out. And uh, they were having a CD release party at a place called The Upstage. Now, mind you, this uh, this club, it was like kind of like a big building. There was Club Log, uh, then there was one downstairs from that. I can't think of the name right now. Uh, and there was The Upstage. I think it was on like the second floor. But uh, that's where the party was. So we're there watching bands, and Anti-Flag was playing upstairs at Log that night. And they were asked to come down and do a couple songs since, you know, they were on the CD too, being from Pittsburgh and all. Well, they turned it down because they weren't given a ridiculous amount of money. And uh, I heard some people, they weren't really happy about that. So I went outside because I needed some air. <clears throat> you know, it was just a bit stuffy in there. A lot of people, and I get a little bit of anxiety being around you know big crowds like that so i went outside you know just relaxing and anti-flag was out there they were uh, loading up their mercedes benz van and they had a lot of underage girls hanging on them um i was probably 28 at the time and these were just kids and the guys in the anti-flag they're they were probably about as old as i am you know, maybe give or take a few years. But I seen this going on, and I'm like, something's wrong. You know, there's playing in a band and getting girls, but then there's playing in the band, and these are kids. So I turned around, and, you know, I said something about it. I'm like, this just doesn't seem right. You know, these little girls, you know, hanging on these guys, and they're not even pushing them away. Or saying, oh, yeah, you're too young, come see me when you're older, or anything like that, you know. And I seen one of the girls kissing Justin. And I said something to somebody, too, about this. And, oh, man, I mean, I about started a riot. I mean, these people were, oh, how dare you talk bad about anti-flag? You don't understand. They're bringing awareness. Like, awareness to what? And uh, I damn near got beat up. And I wish I would have had a camera at the time, because to tell you the truth, if I would have fought back, it would have been self-defense, you know, if it would have been on camera, but there was no cameras around or anything. So if I would have fought back, I probably would have been, went to jail for assaulting a minor. But, you know, just seeing this, just, it didn't make sense, you know, like, why are you hanging around these kids, man? These are little girls. These girls are probably old enough to be my little sister's. Or something like that and uh, I went back in and I was told my friends what happened you know and then not long after that I said a few things to some people you know a lot of the skinheads down there you know they were aware and uh, a lot of people just did not like anti-flag because uh, I've always questioned their motives because, I mean, they come from very nice homes, and, you know, their families pretty much funded a lot of their stuff, including that van and everything. And uh, how can you sing about direct struggle or struggling or, you know, being oppressed and things like that when you don't even know what the hell that means? I mean, that would be like me, you know, writing a song about being a rich boy and you know having everything paid for and having money and doing what rich people do I mean it just wouldn't make no sense I mean why would I make a video or a song about something like that when you know I don't know nothing about that and even earlier on in their career you know a lot of people had questioned their motive and who they really were then you had this the rabid diehards that just latched on to them because they were rock stars and, you know, in the punks, punk rock, you know, really wasn't meant to worship heroes or anything like that. And I've met a lot of famous bands, and I just 
talk to them like I'd talk to anyone else, you know. I don't go up to them like, oh, my God, oh, oh, you know. Like these girls were that day. But uh, anyway, we told a lot of people what we saw and a lot of things uh, got ignored and because of who they are and everything. And I kind of wonder about those girls I've seen down there, what they think now with all the stuff coming out about Justin Sane, Justin Giever, whatever the hell his name is. And I'm wondering maybe if some of them girls may have been victims too that night. And uh, I don't know. But uh, if you are a victim of anti-flag, you know, or Justin or any of them, you know, don't be afraid to come out and say anything. Because anarchy or whatever, there's a certain line you don't cross. And uh, one of those lines you don't cross is you don't go to bed with underage girls. You don't do things with underage girls and you know we're against that stuff i mean a lot of the girls back in the day that ran with us came from very bad homes you know where they were hurt by their own family members and you know punk rock provided a safe spot for those types of people to come in you know feel safe and be around others that support them and you know willing to help them or anything but uh, anyway, that's my story. But yes, I'm not the only one who's seen this and seen them doing things. A lot of other people have said things about this, but like I said, they, they were just looked at as rock stars and nobody listened. Now look what happened. Now if somebody would have listened and something would have been said back then or done back then, maybe it would have prevented some things from happening later on. But this is what happens when you idolize people. You know, you don't know who they really are. So people need to stop idolizing these bands because a lot of these people in these bands are not good people. They might sing about feminism and anarchy and being against racism, being against discrimination and oppression, though, but behind closed doors, they're different people. And Anti-Flag was singing about that stuff for the money. It, I mean, I, I don't think they believe in anything of what they were preaching, because if they did, it would have, you know, prevented a lot of things from happening. But that's my story. And again, I advise anybody who was hurt by members of Anti-Flag or Justin to please come out with your story because uh, this guy here needs to pay for what he did. Anybody who does what he did needs to pay for what they did. So anyway, cheers, folks.